Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gary, and today we're going to get back into episode 2 of my Let's Play of Cyberpunk 2077. We're picking up right where we left off, so hopefully we're going to get into the open world section soon, see what that's got to offer. Kind of looking forward to that. Um, I'm going to start putting up at least uh, one episode a day from now on, so um, you know, if you want to subscribe and get up to date on that, That'd be great if you're interested. Uh, let's uh, let's get straight into it. Hey everyone, feels great to have you back. So then, did you all hear about that Arasaka aircraft carrier docked in Night City called Kujira or the Whale? Apparently, the corp figured it wasn't safe in Japanese waters, afraid some local fishermen might harpoon it for scientific research. But honestly, it's quite the power move. Wonder what Militech will respond with. Maybe Myers will fly a rust bucket B-17 flying fortress over Arasaka HQ. Ooh, man, that's, that's cutting my wires now. See you in the near future. Alright, so we're picking up the this is my left off. I got this thing. Mind if I borrow your wheels? Hmm. I got a day with Misty, but I can't take the metro. How's I gonna look for me? Won't leave you hanging, Jack. But don't get used to it. You're saving my ass, V. Thank you. How about I drive you home, huh? She's all yours. I'm beat as it is. Oh, almost forgot. Should get Wakako on the hollow. Tell her the job's done. She's alive and well. That's what we agree, oh, isn't it? Splendid. Your payment awaits you. Ready to come and grab whenever you like, even right away. But I guess home is the only place you wish to be now. The NCPD has surrounded Watson. The district is closed. If you're to make it past the cordon, you must move fast. Thanks for the heads up. Swing by to see you later. Words out the NCPD is gonna put Watson on lockdown. If I'm gonna sleep in my own bed tonight, we better put it in fifth. All right, street fight level Manon. two. I'm driving. Not sure exactly what that does for us, but we'll guess we'll find out. Is this putting into fifth? Come on, man, let's move. Oh, it's looking good. Can't stop digging Night City. City like any other, just bigger. Nah, mano, not just any other city. Morgan Blackhand, Andrew Wayland, Adam Smasher. Legends are born here. Man, I'm starving. Let's grab a tight bite. What do you say? Jackie, they're locking down Watson, remember? Oh, shit. You're right. Is it just me or. Oh, I could do it. We're gonna get some action. Okay, draw weapon. All. All right. Fucking drive, Jackie. Come on, V. Shoot. Can't keep her steady. Hold tight, V. Had some glitches there. My gun didn't even load in. Mierda, perdón. Oh. 
All right, that wasn't so bad. <laughs> Scratched your baby up pretty bad. Sorry, V. It's okay. It can wait. Let's just focus on getting home. Yeah, there was a little bit of a glitch there. Our guns didn't load in initially, but it seems to have fixed itself. Watson's on lockdown to for the Nerdis. Necessary security measure. Officer, ma'am! Damn, are we ever lucky we ran into you. Really? What's it that makes me so special? A uh, heart of gold? Because only somebody with a heart of gold can understand just how much I need to get back to my girl. Your... girl? Uh-huh. I'm gonna be worried sick if I don't show. I mean... I'm trying to be a stand-up guy. You're just giving me a chance. Waiting. Mm, that's a shame. Look at him. No model citizen, maybe. But he's a good kid. Let them through. But they're the last. Okay. On your way. You have a good evening now, officer, ma'am. Smooth talker. <laughs> So you can be nice when you feel like it. When am I not nice? Um, always? I'm always never not nice. <laughs> yeah, that checks out. Like in the rain on the on the windows, it's really nice. Your place. What about you? Not likely to make it back to Haywood now. Kill V? Don't let me through. Sure about that? Oh, yeah. I'll play nice Jackie again. dreams then tell Misty I said hi I will I luego pretty sure I see something I must be seeing things I thought I saw a collectible or something lying there good evening night city my first Forgot earlier. A runner I know has something you could probably use. Zip in your deeds. One Reverend Culver. Praise be to me, our Father in heaven. All right, we've got a job. Net running skills. And our guest is Karina Lee, host of the Chip In program, which promotes the use of cybernetic implants. Good luck treating you, beautiful. Can't complain, Ziggy. Thanks for having me. Home sweet home, eh? Oh, stupid Yates busted again. Third time. Paid to get it fixed the last two. 
Gotta be some kind of scam. Gonna have a word with this super. Oh yeah. Ooh. Weapon stash. Oh, may as well grab this stuff. Alright, let's have a look. So, it says we've got some new items. Ah, oh, the cla- oh, the trolby. We have to, right? We have to. Same, we can dismantle this stuff as well if you hold Z. Good. Okay, some components. Alright, so you, I guess we either sell it or, or we scrap it. Alright, we got the office get up with the, uh, yeah, the trolby, obviously. Why not? All right, we've leveled up. I see level two, level two street cred as well. So we've got an attribute point and a perk point. I'm guessing you get one of each when you level up. Let's have a look. Oh, okay. So we've got skill trees inside the, uh, the attribute. On oh, skill progression, so we've got level two handguns already. All right, so you can pick up extra parrot points, and oh, just recoil. So I'm guessing the more you more you use a certain weapon, the more you're going to get skill progression and get some bonuses. Well, that's handguns. That well, looks like rifles. Crafting. Athletics. Gonna go with uh, with reflexes. Hold F. And we're gonna put this pair point in. Let's have a look. Okay, so we've got max health, max stamina in the athletics tree. Health regen during combat, okay. I think that's probably a good one to pick up first, the health regen. So yeah, we'll grab, grab that first. That's a lot of stuff. The hell did we just pick up? Baseball cap. What are we thinking? Trolby or baseball? Oh, it's, gotta be, it's gotta be the trolby. Gotta be. Oh, that looks peculiar. Looking like, uh, looking like Leon from the, I don't know if you've seen that movie, Leon the Professional. And, <laughs> that's, that's not Leon. <laughs> Stick with the office slacks, eh? And nice repair boots, that, that'll do us. Let's, uh, let's get, let's get this moving.
Alright, Act 1. So we're officially out of the prologue. something when I jacked into that corpo's biomon. No, neurovirus, or... I need to see Vic. Let him tell me what's got my head reeling, my stomach churning. Okay, let me take you. I brought you a ride. If you want some threads, meet me downstairs. That's all I can pick up. Regina Jones here. If you're looking for work in Watson, give me a call. How'd you find me? How'd you even know my name? I know where to gather my intel. You could even call me a collector. Later, V. We got a call. We're here to help. You are embarrassed. You know you're in there. Fucking gone piece of shit. Oh. Got another dry, sun-filled week coming your way, nice right, Regina Jones. Soak in that sun while you can. There's a cold. Hey, watch. Prepare for cooler conditions as we head into the weekend. Alright, okay. Piece of shit! Come on! Oh, no, no, no. Do you, uh, want Where something? Where are you Jim? going? Yeah, what that thing lying next to you? Come on, give it to me. Uh, What's up? Got it. Hey, yo, V. How about a round or two? What do you say? How you like my new punching bag? Just gave me a next-gen ass whooping. He did. Be curious to see how he handles the likes of me. So how about it? Uh, let's do this. Light Fire a robot? Keep that head moving. So your fist can be dangerous weapons and fist fights can use them to strike enemies and block attacks. Yeah, yeah. This should, this should be fine. You got one hell of a punch there, champ. Ever thought oh, of oh, okay. That... It was a lot faster than I expected. <clears throat> you mentioned something about fighting. Mm. If it's that easy, yeah, I'll I've take that I've seen you landing blows in the ring. You've got sharp instinct and good edge. You can go far, especially if you get chipped. These fights, let's just say they aren't legal, but they're legal. Yeah, lucrative for who? You or me? Both of us. I get a small percentage of the total winnings, you know, as your agent. You get the rest. Sounds fair. It's like I said. Good instinct. Fights happen in different parts of the city. You choose where you want to go, put down your eddies, and start swinging. You win, you take home the pot. Manage to drop every last one of them, you get a chance to fight the grand finale. That all clear? Crystal. Good. Oh, except you won't be setting foot outside or what? Not yet. Start in Kaboom. I believe in you, V. Time to show this city what you're made of. Yeah, okay. What have you got for sale? See Only top selling. shelf gear. So it looks like weapon mods and melee weapons. Okay, there's where street cred comes in. So we need a certain level of street cred to pick up certain weapons by the looks of it. Uh, yeah, I can sell off these guns. I 
I don't have a melee weapon yet, so maybe worth picking one up. So that's these say non-lethal. So I'm guessing blunt weapons, non-lethal, and bladed are lethal. So do we want to take people alive? Or can... Probably not. Let's grab ourselves a katana. Alright, this is the people we need to fight. Oh, check it out. Nice. Got ourselves a katana. Hey, sweet little 45's waiting for its daddy. Hers after every shot now. Let's just get. Oh, collect your gun. Let's have a look. Alright, guns. Ammo. Uh, oh, upgrade components. Okay, nice, nice. I assume this is what we're here for. Is it costs zero, so just received an iconic item along with a set of crafting specs. You receive the craft better quality versions of this item. A new version of an iconic item is crafted. The original item is destroyed. Iconic items can also be upgraded, like regular weapons or pieces of clothing. Upgrading improves levels and stats. Okay, right. Thanks a lot. This is our iconic, uncommon iconic. All right, let's check it out. Nice. You can't do this. All right, let's get on down. languages simultaneously sold over three million copies. I'm loving this so far. The Aratama Matsuri Thunder will be nearly upon us. To mark the event, the streets of Night City will be covered up with exquisite multi story Dashi floats. The festival program will also include musical performances by B Rock virtuosos and theatrical performances in the No tradition. The sponsor for the festival is the Arasaka Corporation. And in an exciting development. So we're going to go and see the Ripper Dock. Sounds ominous. So, uh, we didn't talk about yesterday. Look at all the people just chilling out. Oh, here we go. Alright, we got NCPD scanner hustles, fight crime, fixers inform about local gigs, and then there's gigs. Oh, look at this. Man of the hour. <laughs> Jeez, oh. took you long enough. Lift up an appetite, just waiting. Sit down, let me finish this. Then we can drop in on Senor Vector. There's just something about a surprise yesterday. Am I remembering right, or I'm just had a brain for it? Probably both, because you usually forget oh. shit. But it just so happens. I think I might have bagged us a sweet ass J-O-B. Go on. I mean, maybe it's not as big as that, but just that he's fronted by a little known someone named Dixon. Only the top fixer in night fucking city. Badass black Jesus of the afterlife. 300 pounds of partly gold plated cool. How'd you manage to pull this? Trading your spleen or something? As far as I know, we're not the type to get fingered by Dex. You know me? No. Oh, but t -Buck. She's the one that hooked us up. Got us talking. Knew it was a done deal the moment he laid eyes on me. Cause come on. Ain't nobody who can resist this. Am I right? 
<laughs> sure, Jack. Whatever you say. She was orbital air. What's this job? So what's the gig? We meant to come out in one piece? Our Lord and Savior wants to tell you everything himself. Face to face. Oh, no pressure, but, uh, this whole deal, he's right on you. This guy? Why do I gotta go? You and T-Bug draw straws without me? T-Bug and Dex go way back. And my face is yesterday's news. All Dex says he needs to check you. Talk to you. Look, V, it's his job, his rules. I can't blame him for taking a personal approach. And it ain't as bad as you think, okay? Trust me. I guess I got no choice then. Dex is a real deal when it comes to fixers. Don't get me wrong. Don't got nothing against the Padre or Wakako, but Dex is all man. I'm glad to Oh, really? No. It's always the same story. You land on fresh turf, local fixer waves his dick around, but he's smiling. Saying you'll be up to your neck in gigs and eddies. Still, all you are is another name in their little black book. Nifty tool getting them a fat slice of whatever half-baked shit pie their client put on the table. Sure, you crack jokes over drinks, but in the end, it's biz. Brought your wheels. Gave them to my guy yesterday to smooth over the dents after our uh, dust off with the scabs. Thanks, Jack. Much appreciated. All right, first V. The top Call notch work Miguel did. Rides like it looks. I'm back to renew. We'll see about that. Are we rolling or what? Let's feel this factory new ride. First stop, Ripper Duck and Holmes. Easy on the gas, huh? I just ate. All right. I was supposed to stop by Vix anyhow. I got a date. Me and Misty. You don't <laughs> say. She's so sweet. Really gets me, you know? I try it. Is this switch camera with Q? But uh, it's not doing anything. Oh, here we go. Well, I think I may actually be better off staying in first person. Apparently, I can't drive. Yeah, this is it. Come on, V. Find me once Vic's done dusting your circuits. We'll hash out what Dex has cooked up for us. Also, it puts everything in slow motion when you're when you're scanning. Not only to you. Do you truly believe that those who have sold you your Hey, v. Dr. Vector will see you now. Oh, yeah? I'll sit tight over here. Me and Misty got a little catch up to do. You look pleased. All right, let's go see this ripper dog. Though a common practice, cyberware installation is still a dangerous invasive procedure, can only be performed by qualified specialists. Reprodox. Several Reprodox operating through Night City offer a variety of different cyberware upgrades. Select your desired cybernetic upgrade from the list and enjoy your new abilities, okay? Vicky, surprise every old Ripper. It's good to see you. Good to see you too, V. Gaining the upper. Oh, wow. What do I owe the pleasure today? Last gig. I had to jack into a client's neuro socket. I think I might have gotten spiked. Experiencing migraines, nausea, hypersensitivity to bright lights. Whole kit and caboodle. All right, kit. We'll sort you out in a flash. Besides that, how are things? Need some new kit, but tools, not toys, Vic. 
Osama bumped up my sights and got a grip. <laughs> really? Now? Finally? Vic, shit's getting real. Got a job from Dex to Sean, hitting the major leagues. Any tech that can perform. The Dexter Deshaun? <laughs> well, that is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. 21,000? Uh, yeah. Quit crying, Vic. I'll bring you the Eddies later, with interest. You know I will. Hmm. Last time. You hear? Chair, please. Sit down and relax. Getting some Deus Ex vibes from this. With the implants and stuff. Kuroshi Optics. Best I've got, and should be about right under the circumstances. Now Jack in. You peruse and choose while I scan. See what's going on inside. All right, side the implants, mechanical replacements for organic parts of your body, give you superhuman, superhuman abilities, which can improve your combat capability. Uh, yeah, so it's saying these reprodux, yeah. All right, here we are, cyberware. So we've got frontal cortex, ocular system, circulatory, immune, nervous, arms, legs, and hands. All right. So we're getting some Kuroshi optics. Yeah, we're going to need some serious cash to get some of these, it looks like. Yeah, okay. Uh, ballistic co-processor. Co co-processor? Co-processor? Yes, I can't read. Increased chance to ricochet shots with power weapons. Story links to the optical implant. Real-time data tracking. Okay. We can look through the rest of these later. Once Mark 1, like life. I said. Decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. Cherry on the top's a built-in external lens disruptor. In layman's terms, any surveillance cam will capture your face as a blur. And just remember, your body will still show up as crystal clear. Hmm. This should do the trick. Talks to Kuroshi Tech, too. I'm ready. Carve away. Excellent. Let's do this. That major league arm of yours right here. Just like that. Thanks. Now, a bit of anesthetic and I can start cutting. Feel anything? Play by play, though. Really, Doc? Makes it sound like a dentist. Always going on and on. Don't be mean now. Remember, I'm old. I got a shaky gannic hand. Could slip. Lights out for a minute, all right? Well, that's a little creepy. Okay, let's test this. See the magic in action. Linking you in. You might feel a little discomfort at first. Blurred vision, low contrast, glitches. Well, how's it look? Feel all right to you? Oh, this is fantastic, Vic. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Alright, scan people with your optical cyberware provides you with lots of useful information, such as how strong an enemy may be, who is in their crew, and what type of weapon they use. The skilled netrunner, you can see a list of quick hacks which you can use against your enemies. Time for the scanner. It 
might take you a few seconds to adjust. But first time's rarely the charm, <laughs> with anything, really. The scanner should eventually sync with your thought processes. Well, like that change your auto. intentions. I'd also inject an NCPD file search. Run into any ne'er do wells? <laughs> you know exactly what they ne'er did well. Right, database of wanted persons. Database of individuals with bounties assigned to them is now available to use. You can identify wanted persons with your scanner. Since they're all wanted dead or alive, the methods used to claim the reward are entirely up to you. Alright, I like it. <laughs> it ought to work like a charm. Now draw your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new site. Alright, we actually have an ammo counter now. I was wondering where that was. How about the neurovirus from the last job? Can you check it? Done and gone while we were putting in your implant. And a full sweep on your soft and circuits. Zap the critter. You're certified bug free. Shit, Victor, not bad. I don't know what to say. Say you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now, and another two in an hour. Thanks again, Vic. You're the best. I owe you. Go on, kid. Show them what you're made of. And once you hit the big leagues, don't forget where you came from. Yo, oh, we can pack out. Of course, we're gonna do it. <laughs> it's the mark of a good game, right there. If you can pack out. Your heart chakra looks a little out of whack, babe. I can release it for you, but you'd have to watch out for negative energy fields and avoid mean reds. V, and yo, listen up. I talked to Dex while you were in with the doc. He's waiting in his ride for you. Ain't but a hop to where he's parked, next to Gramsci Burgers. Okay, do my best to talk us up. Meet with Dex. But you are not the masters of your memory! Hey, listen, I've got this delicate matter. That's why I called you. The number of cyber-psycho attacks in the city is on the rise. Now that's probably not news to you, but this issue matters to me, for a few reasons. There are people who say cyber-psychosis can be treated. Right. And I know exactly how that sounds, but I believe even an unproven therapy is still better than a bullet to the brain. If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll give you a call. Maybe you can investigate before Max Tack hits the scene. But remember, you're not there to execute anybody. Try to incapacitate the attacker, and I'll send someone to pick him up. I hope that's all clear. Right, various ways to incapacitate enemies without killing them. Non-lethal takedowns, non-lethal quick hacks, weapons, EMP grenades, weapon mods. Uh, if a given weapon, combat gadget, or quick hack deals non-lethal damage, it'll be mentioned in the description. All right. If you come across a hostile situation in progress, it's your choice whether or not to intervene. Okay. See, that's a hostile situation right there. NPCPD issues bounties for some of the city's most wanted criminals. If you defeat a wanted person, the city will reward you with a generous money transfer. What do we think? We get involved here? Oh, it looks like I've gotten involved. Perform certain actions will reward you with street cred, build your street cred, make a name for yourself in Night City Underworld. Doing so will open up new opportunities. Some handgun experiences and street cred. We buy experience, and uh, will the cops mind us just grabbing this loot? 
Alright, power weapons allow you to control the direction of bullet rickages if you have ballistic coprocessor cyberware trajectory generator mod. Yeah, I think we have the ballistic coprocessor already. We need the trajectory generator mod. Don't mind me, copper. Just, uh, just taking a look around your crime scene. some free loots. I'm all about that. Oh, did I not have a jacket on? What happened to that? Oh yeah, let's go with that. Ourselves a new assault rifle. Oh, we need to mess around with the sword as, as well. Keep forgetting about that. Let's go see what Dex has to say. Whoa now! Yo, Mr. V. A pleasure. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> Let's roll. Mind if I ask you something right off the bangle? Would you rather live in pieces, Mr. Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory, smelling near like posies, without seeing your 30th? It's first place or no place, Dex. Cost isn't a factor. <laughs> Classic. I'd expect nothing less from eager, supple youth. <laughs> Respect. Uh, Dex, your lips aren't moving. All right. Listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scab home. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech. A biochip to be precise. Jobs to grab it. Simple. Yeah. <laughs> Guessing it belongs to a court. Mm-hmm. Arasaka. Surely that's no problem. Death no, sentence? No problem. Just a death sentence. NC's Arasaka's turf. Nobody fucks with them here. What can I say, Mr. V? High risk, high reward. First rule of the afterlife. Besides that, I'm no leadhead. Ain't gonna leave no trace for them to follow because we're gonna do this clean and on the hush hush. We understand each other. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolving that. Second, to rendezvous. Simple. Client who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shot. Maelstrom. I got a classic tale for you. Psycho gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a Militech convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see, convoy was carrying the flathead. A little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high-grade military tech. Because if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single-use toy. Now, I flat-out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. 
problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say went, because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gangmate, one Simon Randall, AKA Royce, plain dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this shipstream, one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Oh, we got a corporal response here. Corporal agent, what you playing at? Hell if I know. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip-tied in her trunk. Sounds like she was waiting on the transport. Got stood up. Monochrome in the back's probably her chief suspect. Got nothing from him or on him, so she's keeping him just in case. But she needs to find the stolen gear before her boss has learned she fucked up. Well, Mr. V, that is some impressive deduction. Naturally, use that intel as you please. Preferably well. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Sending it now. Client, what's her thing? Why she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. End the convo. <laughs> anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, who'll be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leaves you. I think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. All right, looks like we got a couple Hello, of jobs. Let's see. Uh, guys over the One more thing, Mr. V. Quiet life or blaze of glory? Hmm? Uh, Later now. Jackster, talk to Dex. Yeah, <laughs> Gordito's a big deal. Literally a nod, yeah. Guy certainly knows how to protect his biz. Wants to put us on a few small kinks. Prep work, I guess. Before lining us up a big job. Is this combat bot, military prototype. Maelstrom kleptic. Then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the gangoons had to switch up in man management. I right, heard about that. Royce versus Brick. Hostile takeover. That sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deets of some Militech agent, too, but... I don't know how much help she stands to be. Huh. <laughs> then there's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table. Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. They must know what he's doing. So, how you wanna play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? Hmm. I Maelstrom. say we knock on Maelstrom's door first. Pound, actually. What I lay. In that case, I'll hit the all foods and put my nose to the ground. Step around. Hasta luego. All right, job complete. All right, so I think that's a good spot to end off part two um, before this video gets any longer. So we've got some missions set up, ready to go, so we can get straight into that um, next next episode. Uh, might even do a wee bit of exploration, see if we can find some 
side motions to entertain ourselves with. Um, so yeah, I look forward to doing that. Open world's looking pretty good already. So we'll see what else there is going on next time. So thanks very much for joining me. Uh, I'll see you all in the next episode. Catch you.